Hello everybody, Philip here. Welcome to Metric Geo. Please do not forget to subscribe on the channel, share the video with a friend, like the video and comment. So I'm still continuing talking about paragraph questions, how to answer paragraph questions. And before I do that, I'm going to take a step back on the tips that I give. Uh, do not forget to write in paragraph form. No hashtags, no bullet no dashes right and then i'm talking you should always refer to the question i'm saying you should use the miniskirt version you know what that means and i'm saying you should know how to identify and uh accommodate different parts that are in the question so let's jump into it so i'm talking uh today i'm talking negative and positive impacts of mid latitude cyclones on the economy. So mid latitude cyclones, when I say mid latitude cyclones, to me, I'm basically referring to Cape Town. And when I'm saying economy, to me, it simply means ching -ching, money. And I show it means money to you too. So what do mid latitude cyclones do that is positive in our country that brings in money? So mid latitude cyclones bring winter rainfall and winter rainfall which enables what winter farming winter farming is suitable for crops such as grapes because those are the crops that need uh, a lot of water most areas wet areas so my point would be one those vineyards and wineries attract tourists into the country two i am saying Due to that heavy rainfall, there will be more harvest on the grapes, right? More harvest simply means more profit for the commercial farmers, right? Two. And then more harvest again simply means more exports for the country. Three. And then I am saying again, Due to heavy rainfall, the dams are filled. Those dams could be used again for industrial purposes, that is uh, to generate hydroelectricity. Five. And then again, if these hydroelectricity, uh, these places that generate hydroelectricity are functioning, which means it also creates what? Employment, because people are needed to operate those machines and be there to monitor the places and again also during the winter rainfall uh crops are booming and those farmers will hire more manpower to do the harvesting and control the machines so again employment is created so these are seven points that i've just mentioned but then in a paragraph you will only need four but then you know what it is you gotta do it like a boss and just give five you know you are not going to die by giving five, but then you will die if you get, if you write four and one of them is wrong. Okay, so now let's go to the negatives, right? And negative, negative impact of mid latitude cyclones on the economy. So I'm talking, all right, due to those bad weather conditions, potential tourists attend away, right? And then due to those strong winds, they may mess around with the electricity pipe, electricity poles, meaning power cartridges may shut down some businesses. And then now I'm talking about uh, the cancelled flights. And then I'm talking about uh, the crops washed away by the floods caused by the uh, heavy rainfall will force the country to import uh crops and the food from other countries that is bad for the country now i'm talking also cancelled flights and i'm talking cancelled uh fishing activities so all these things are not good for the country they do not bring in money so uh 
and then again there will be more insurance claims so anything that is taking money is not good for the economy and everything that i just mentioned right here is not good at all because those things require money and then uh another point would be the money that could have been used to uh the money that could have been used let me say for other purposes maybe to give bursaries it doesn't fulfill that purpose anymore because now that money has been used to repair the damaged infrastructure so that is bad for the economy so those are the points uh that i have those are the points that i've used uh when i was in metric both positive and negative on the economy by the midlatitude cyclone so just pick those that you can remember easily those that you understand better those that uh you can memorize and uh that is all for today uh, thank you for viewing. Do not forget to subscribe, share the video with a friend, classmates, uh, like and comment and uh, peace. I will see you on the next video where I talk about uh, the paragraph on the occlusion stage.